Richard Knudsen here again, and in this presentation, I want to talk to you about a few of my favorite new features in the area of customizing Dynamic Serum 2011, and I thought I'd show those in the context of some real work I've got to get done, and the work I've got to get done is to fix up this project entity that I've created. I'm looking at the project form here in Dynamic Serum 2011, and you can tell it doesn't have much on it. Got a little save test project here. So what do I got on my custom project entity? Well, I've got a name. That's good. Got a start date. Got an owner. That's about it. I need a bunch of other stuff um, to make this project more useful. It basically doesn't have any customizations yet to it, except for one. It does have a one-to-many relationship to cases, which I've already created. Uh, so cases could be used as a way to track incidents question, support incidents, that sort of thing for each project, so it's reasonable. Most notably lacking on this project entity, the way I've got it set up right now, a relationship to record types like accounts and contacts. So I don't have any way of associating this a project record right now with those. So what I want to do is I want to create a one-to-many relationship from account to project, or a many-to-one from project to account, and I also want to be able to look up a contact record from the project. So associate a project with that contact on a one-to-one -one basis. Again, so one contact, many projects. Um, but there's a wrinkle there in that I want only contacts associated with an account record to be eligible to be the project contact. And that was relatively non-trivial in Dynamic CRM 4. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do both of those things in Serum 2011, and then you can decide if these warrant inclusion in your favorite list of favorite things for Dynamic Serum 2011 customization. So first of all, I'll start out on the form. Dynamic Serum 2011, I no longer have to navigate to the whole customization area because I can simply click Customize on the form. So if I've got the right security privileges, I'll simply do this. And I will customize the form. So I'll go into Customization mode here. But this is uh, in place customization, so it saves me about six clicks right there. But now I'm customizing the project form. And you might think that since what I want to do here is I want to create a many to one relationship from project to account in Dynamic Serum 4, I would have been required to go into the entity area, customize the, say, project entity, and create that relationship to the account and then put the lookup field on the form. But watch what I can do here. I can do that from the context of a field in Dynamic CRM 2011. And in particular, I don't even need to be customizing the entity to create a new field. I could do that from the field explorer. So I'll click new field. So that's new. But another important new thing that I'm going to show you here is that I don't have to explicitly create a one-to-many relationship anymore because I can do it in creating a new field, I can create a lookup. And the lookup is going to allow me to specify the target record type. So this will implicitly create the many-to-one relationship I'm looking for here from project to account. So the only thing I'll do is fix up the name. It's a better relationship name. And we'll just call it project account. And I'll give it a better display name about account, which is going to be the name of the lookup field on the project form. Save and close. That creates the lookup field, which implicitly creates the many-to-one relationship from project to account. So now I can simply drag and drop this right onto the form. And if I save it, Customizations are not published yet, but I can preview. Let's just see if it works the way I expect it to work. So I'll go into preview mode here and just verify that that gives me a lookup relationship to account. Bingo, I can see that it does. So that's the first thing. That's done. So that in itself is something that would have taken considerably more steps in Dynamic Serum 4 than it does in Serum 2011. But the next thing I'm going to show you that is creating a lookup to contact, but restricting that lookup to only display any contacts associated with a particular account. This is something that wasn't really available 
in dynamic Sierra Core unless you were willing to write some code to do that. So here, let's create a new field, which is also going to be a lookup. I'll give it a display name of project contact. We'll create it as a lookup. And this is going to be a lookup against the target record type of contact. And I'll give this a name of project project contact. Looks like it made a better names, but I could probably also think of worse. So let's just leave that for now. Save and close. And now when it's done creating that lookup field, remember implicitly to create the relationship. Well, not implicitly, I should say the behind the scenes it creates that relationship. And let's put the project contact field on the form underneath the account field, so right there. Now, here's the trick. What I want to do here is double click the project contact lookup field, open up the field properties dialog, and here what I'm going to do is take advantage of a brand new feature in CRM 2011, which is this related records filtering section here. So this is what I want to do. This is really an important new thing. It's going to save you a lot of time. I want to only show records where the account that's identified in the one-to-many relationship from account to project that I set up earlier, where that matches the parent customer of the contact identified as the, as the project contact. So effectively what this is going to do is going to restrict the lookup on contacts to those contact records that match the account specified for the project. And if we want to, we can optionally let users turn this filter off to account for situations where it's possible. Maybe you've got a project contact that's a consultant or something like that that isn't associated with that. But watch what this does. Click OK. Now I can go to preview. Date. And when the preview window opens, we can go ahead and just type in something for account. I'll type in Eugenium. Then what I want to do, look up contacts. You can see that this worked because it's restricted this list of contacts to only those contacts that have that meet that matching condition, which on the parent customer. I can turn it off if I want to, if I did want to establish somebody else or turn it back on and identify the correct project contact. So those are a couple of things that uh, will accumulatively save you a lot of time. So, you know, what do we see here? We saw that it's much easier to create lookup fields, which implicitly use a one-to-many relationship in dynamic CRM. I don't have to explicitly go out and create that relationship anymore. Just create the lookup field, and it creates it behind the scenes on the fly. And then we saw that it's also much easier to filter lookups. This is just one example of how you can use filter lookups to make it easier for your end users to, uh, to enter correct data on a form. Let me know if you think that's uh, going to be among your favorite new features in customization in Dynamics CRM. And I hope you found this helpful. Richard Knudsen signing off.